say that he um, enjoys the Catch Me Outside girl and thinks she's funny, so let's just... So, yeah, so that just shows what... Just let's, let's do it. Really, you want to put your dick in her? It's old news by now that the Mr. Beast company is in some deep shit. Barely a week after Ava Chris Tyson got exposed for being a pedo, a former Mr. Beast employee that goes by the name of Dogpack404 released a nearly hour-long expose video, which brought up many serious allegations, including fake challenge videos, possible pedophilia, worsening the obesity crisis in America whilst openly speaking against it, running illegal lotteries, which were all aimed at children, and blatantly lying towards subscribers. With how serious these accusations are, if they were proven to be true, which Dog Pack showed some pretty compelling evidence, they would be devastating to the Mr. Beast brand and possibly YouTube as a whole due to how large of a channel Mr. Beast is. So obviously, due to the fact that Mr. Beast is the largest channel on YouTube, it's no surprise that some people have spoken out to defend Jimmy and the entirety of the Mr. Beast company, except for really Chris, because that's not really defendable. So, I'm going to have a hypothetical debate where my friend Vogel is going to play Devil's Advocate to defend Jimmy slash the Mr. Beast brand, and I'm going to counter his arguments. Canceling Ava Chris Tyson is unnecessary or transphobic. First of all, being trans does not justify being a pedo. Second of all, people still must be held accountable for their actions, even if they were committed in the past. And finally, Chris is being cancelled for actions that were committed before she was trans. Jimmy's efforts on Beast Philanthropy justifies his actions. Another counter-argument is that Jimmy has been proven to fake some of his videos in the past on his main channel which this does compromise the legitimacy of his alternate channel videos. After all, if one video is faked by somebody or a company, there is reason to believe that their other videos may made by the same company would also have been faked, which this just makes it to where we can't believe Jimmy anymore, because now we don't know what's real and what's not. Jimmy is not pedophilic. There is audio recorded evidence of Jimmy saying, Let's be real, you wouldn't put your dick in her when speaking about, at the time, 14-year-old bad baby when he was 19. There's also video evidence, which was cut out of the original video, of Jimmy examining an NSFW piece of physical art, of which was owned by Chris Tyson and proven to be made by Shadman. Anyway, if you have any other arguments, please put them in the comments down below and I will reply to them. Also, big thank you to the YouTuber Vogel for for playing as the voice and devil Devil's Advocate and helping me with the editing. The link to his channel will be in the description below. Go subscribe. That's about it. See ya.